Hey everyone, this is Manly Bastard, and welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. Previously, we went to the Hive, where we found our fellow employees all getting along and having a good time. Then I go to the next area. Not sure if I'll need pencils or not yet. Which was it? Floor 8? Something like that. But before we go there... Got some of the floors real quick. Okay, so this is your hangout. It's behind the curtain. Hey, dude, good vibes, but don't go near that door. Nice. Nice. At least we're not cheap on witch paper. Hello, Doshi. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Put it over there. What? Oh, hi. Uh, what's up, dude? I, um, came to see what you're doing around here. You're taking a stroll on the company, aren't you? Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise, buddy. You might fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to collect components for what modifying things to do my experiments. But hey, that's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more, but between this and that, work-related accidents are the order of the day. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, perfectly. I don't have much of work to do, actually. Around here, the crowd can't tell a turn-on computer from a turned-off one. I've had orders accumulated for years, and no one says a word. So, mind my own business. I mind my own business, rather. This company's chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a fear that's gonna drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Magic. Sure, tell me. Same thing EA runs on. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. You're old enough to not to go around believing in fairy tales. Look, this is very simple. This company's a machine. That parts that make it work with the employees and all that. You follow me? Sort of. For example, imagine that the company's a print you have at home. One day it prints out two sheets of paper to give her. Another day it misprints some data. Next day it swallows paper. Mixes the files you send to the print. Well, you know, the typical printer moves. Uh-huh. You know that damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something, and you call your buddy Dalshu to keep an eye on it and fix it for you. Awesome. But dude, what if there's no owner? If only print exists, who says it's broken? All their parts are working. They take the paper they print. They may work oddly, but they work. That's what's happened to this company. It's broken. It's corrupt. At the same time, it's still working. You follow me? Are you holding up? Hmm. Well, while you're coming from the after travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies. Want to see? Of course. Yeah, just just push that out of the way. Batteries. Ink jets. A glow stick. Hey, that's a glow stick. You carry them in your hand and leave them on the floor and pick them up later. Very useful when you run out batteries. Hard 25, I ain't gonna out money. Just knew I'll give you three so you can try them. You'll love them. Oh, thank you. They'll be great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's so little light in this building. You go around the building a lot? Yeah, I'm always going back and forth. Will you just go for walks or you search the drawers and the filing cabinets? Oh, you know me. Well, a little, yes. Awesome. Well, then maybe you can help me. Let's just say, I deal with other things. Besides what you can see here. I'm freaking out over a little jewel I want to fix, and well, I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you give me one of those pieces, I can give you a good reward. They might have some. What are they like? They're matte red plate electronic components. If you give me one of these pieces, I give you some really nice stuff. I think I found one of those things. Take a look at it. Sweet buddy, you really are dope. As a warning, let me see that little flash of yours. Can you give an upgrade? Good to go. Now you have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. Thank you. Thanks to you, dude. If I'm one of those pieces, you know who to give them to. Dot matrix. What are dot matrixes? Oh, I could talk about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yes, but... Let's see, if you're putting a gun to my head... You know anything about Cinecorp's history? Not much, actually. 
People forget, but this company was a leading technology company in the 70s before it started to manage and speculate on data. And today, the sixth floor was full of R&D projects. Multifunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, even memory scanners. This crowd experimented of all kinds of stuff, but although they registered a handful of prototypes, it never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that Dot Matrix is a Centricorp experiment that went wrong. Cops also say that they originated when one of the scientists who worked on them got his hand caught between the needles. And while the result is that is obvious. And do you know any tricks to avoid them? Those things are almost blind, but they feel the vibrations of your voice on the ground. Don't run away, unless you have no choice. Another thing, those creepers are in love with ink. Don't forget to take some ink with you. An ink cartridge, but... Use of the dot matrix catches you, so let you go and leave you alone for a while. Okay. Anything else interesting here? Is that from evil box person? Guess not. What about floor two? <laughs> Mr. Chapman. Help please, help please, you're all crazy. Oh, yes, I can switch between them. Do you need some help, buddy? But first, loot. It really is a lot brighter, though. Oh my god. Coffee. Rummage in the trash. That's what your short is like, is it? Were you asking for help? What? What me? Please, man, please. Why don't we just go out there and rummage for the trash? I already did. I'm trying to concentrate on my work. Work? But what exactly are you doing here? It's none of your business. You're all moving non-stop. I don't understand what for. Of course you don't understand. With your brain undeveloped due to malnutrition. In any case, what difference does it make? There must have been some confusion. It's obvious this is not my place. Pretty soon I'll be at the top floors of this building. Higher than anyone else. Do you know which family I belong to? The Chapmans? The family Chapman? No. How could they drag my last name in the mud like this? Damn it, if my father saw me now. If you don't want to be here, why don't you change floors? Ah, change of floors. What a groundbreaking idea, but how could I do that? The elevator's right there. You think I'm a moron? I know the damn elevator's right there, you think I don't see it? They won't let me go, you douchebag. If I could, I could be here with this rabble running around on the chicken without a head. The only way out of here is with that stupid game. What game? It's some kind of absurd test. If you manage to win your badges, I'm like upgrade and you can move up to the next floor. And you haven't tried yet? Me? Well, no, it's just... I'm not sure of the rules. And you know what they say, businessman never participates in a game without knowing the rules. The Art of War, Sun Tzu. Well, good luck with the game, I'll see you around. You want me to do it for him? Wait! You see, I just had a brilliant idea. You could be in it for me, Bastardneck. Well, I see you remember my name now. Well, man, don't be like that. I'm sure in the suburbs where you come from, you're used to playing these kinds of poor people's games. What do you say, will you help me? Give me a thousand credits. I'll pay you for the game, but you only give me a thousand credits. I see you're starting to sound like a businessman. I don't usually deal with farm animals. <laughs> but I guess everyone has a roll up their sleeves once in a while, no. It's a deal. But only pay you back when you win the game. What am I supposed to do? Press that button next to the door. When they ask you who you are, you have to say my name. That's how you get into the game room. Oh, I see the gas. Alloway! Mr. Chapman. Is that Mr. Chapman? Um. This is a death trap. The test will begin immediately. Hold on a second, what are the rules? What am I supposed to do? This autonomous system is only judged when you have not, not passed the test. But until you leave the line for more than three seconds, you will be disqualified. Um. Uh. 
Um, oh yeah, I can't leave the line. I think. Cool. Very weird world. Oh. No. are happening. Ah! Ah. Still alive. Over. I'm at that win. Mr. Chapman, you won! Oh, well, definitely I won. Cheater. Shut up, you jealous bastards. I bid you farewell, my friends. I'm going to the third floor. I can't be worse than this. Hey, you owe me money. Here, beggar. This is pocket change for me. <laughs> Pick it up off the floor. Damn, you really are. No, my money! Oh my god, it's a cigarette box. This box of Barker takes up almost the entire package. Maybe it's more useful? Oh no. <laughs> I feel like we got a little cheated. Let's see if you're the next floor. Chapman, are you here? Well, the box guy ain't here anymore. Are you working with the IT team? Oh. That's whatever. Maybe you're just done with the storyline for the time being. Here, let's get some pizza. So some cheese. No bread. Damn. Oh yeah, I can fix this, I think. There was loose wires. It should be working now. The five credits. Floor eight. Let's see what's happening here. No, no, it wasn't for playing with fire strength streams, you'll find. But the goblin saw the witch so many times that he went blind. It's a rusty broken swing. What is doing in a place like this? Isn't there a swing in the computer world? Maybe that's like based off of that. It's a Citra family cemetery. 1984-1983, a member of a poor family that became the most important in the capital city. 
The evil never follow you or me. Rest in peace. This looks like a cemetery. It's a big rusty lock on the gate. Oh, if I can get through without the key. Whoa. That's an actual ghost. I, I think I know where the witch is. Where all this fog come from? It smells like burning. Maybe it's smoke? Hey. Check something. Hey, by yourself again, huh? Hi, Sosa, how are you doing? I'm fine. Doesn't hurt at all. And you? Ooh, we got some dialogue here. Secret club? What's well, Hugo saying about you guys having a secret club? You want to come in? I just is open. No, I mean, I, I don't know. Tell me about it first. Oh, of course. It's called Video Club. Mysterio. Dun dun dun. Do you like the name? Mm, sounds interesting, of course. It's a cinema club where we watch horror movies, B series, offer films. We also make our own short horror films. I'm sure you must have seen our tapes around. We've had copies all over the building, so when, when someone finds it, they'll say, Oh, what a mystery. Wow, how creative. You made the short films? I'm the actress in some of them, and I always help whatever I can. The real artist, Mappy, who's our director. Mappy? She's a very introverted girl. But you can take all the strange things that surround us and turn it into art. So what, Pastor Neck? Join the Club Mysterio? Sure. Come on, why not? Great, great, great. Then, then make three of us. Here, make your temporary ID. Have you seen the Video Club Mysterio tapes yet? It's about four of them. I see some of your shorts. Very mysterious. I didn't understand much, though. It's best to understand look at all the tapes. How many tapes are there? Ugh, it's a mystery. Cemetery. Hugo. Hey, are you afraid of Hugo? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. Jason, you ask me. Is he hiding and listening to us? He might actually be. What? No, come on, I don't think he'd... Does he usually do that kind of thing? And much worse, Pastor Neck. Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's with the company for a long time, and he's been rising from the lowest floors. He has contracts on each floor and moves freely for the company. Have you seen the toad jumping around yet? I've seen that. What's with the costume? Super Toad is his alter ego. He's supposed to be some kind of company superhero, but just thinks he's do what he likes over getting explanations. He's very smart, Pastor Neck. He's always covers his back. In public, he's that funny, slutty, naughty fellow who's playing pranks and rookies. When he's disguising himself, he's totally in control and goes and clean unpunished. Behind that mask, he can do anything that goes through his head. And believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whatever's between him and what he wants. But why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, Pastor Nack, if he finds I've spoken to you. Take it easy, I don't trust him a bit. I won't tell him anything. Children of the Witch. Earlier you were telling me about something about the Children of the Witch. What are they? They're creatures in our service. I guess they're like our lieutenants. They roam freely for the building. Though you've been in comfort for some time, you can get to know which areas are the most dangerous. For example, on this very floor, there's that guy who saw an office D at the archives. There's a spider in the hive. Well, they are in the archives. There's a spider in the hive. You can normally see the girls of human resources and the dot matrix. Dot matrix. They're the most dangerous. You're going to talk to Doshi on the third floor if you want information about them. But where do they all come from? This company has been running from a fin past the neck. And you see all that poisonous air spring throughout the building. All the workers who breathe within get infected and end up transformed by her. That stench has to come from somewhere. From a giant cauldron. She has a very large cauldron and does her experiments there. She immerses the workers. She captures in this infected breeding ground and transforms into her children. Cemetery. You know 84 Cemetery? Yeah, who told you about it? Did you go there? Oh yeah, well, I was just walking around and I got lost. Nobody goes near that place, Pastor Neck. Since your family members are buried there, the founders of the company. The family has always been associated with witchcraft. So the company employees came and she lives in that cemetery. 
I wouldn't go near that place if I were you. Thanks, Sosa. I feel like I can trust you. Huh? Oh, we're going full vaporwave here. Sintra? This is the pool of blood. Do you feel up to swim? The water is so good. Oh, oh, oh no, thank you. You're boring, Brian. No, no, it's just I don't... Don't you know how to swim? I know how to swim, okay? When I was little, I almost drowned since that time. I prefer to stay as far away from the water as possible. I love it. You don't know what you're missing. And have you ever seen the sea? Well, no, of course not, but I'd love to. It's awesome. I used to go to the beach with my parents every weekend. Your parents? Oh, you're gonna look glitching out. The old Demi's coming back, aren't they? Well, what do you want? I've been all the way to the 8th floor. There's a locked cemetery, but it's almost bare this way, because I'm not going in there. I don't care about that. No, 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 and absolutely not. I heard a scream coming from inside that cemetery that gave me the creeps. I fear the worst. I'm sorry, what did you say? That I don't care. I'm not interested. You can stop looking for the witch. What do you mean? I've been thinking, and I think you're right. This whole witch hunter plan doesn't make sense. All information you brought me about the company doesn't add up to much of the information I had. There's something wrong with all of this. And I'm beginning to fear it's me. Why are you saying this now? I don't know. What does it matter? What if I'm corrupt? Corrupt? Nothing. Leave me alone. Doe, no, I don't understand anything. What am I supposed to do now? Do what you want, Brian. But do me a favor. Leave me alone. It's a statue of a woman. It's a statue of a man with horns. Looks like a demon. Hey, that's my cocktail. What's in it? Devil's blood. Brian, leave me alone, will you? Youch. Got one cocktail. Hey. Cutscene? Hugo. Why are you going to the fourth floor, buddy? First. Painting his pocket says Devil's Blood, which we should have. What is this? It's his hex and hammer. What's it doing lying here? Secret. Secret. What's all this? They all say Hex and Hammer. All of them are Hex and Hammers. Why, well, so many copies of the book here. Are these, are these all hunters that failed and got the book? Is that it for this area? Well, this is a bad omen.
like I said, it's it's almost like they, they constantly were getting books in. Like, I'm not the first one to get the damn Hexen Hammer. Or just could just be the mind is really corrupt. My soul. Now what is- oh my god. Oh, what's coming for me? Get away from that man so I can, like, ask him questions. Dot, dot, dot. Dot Matrix. That was the thing you all were around with the green ink. Someone else has been killed. Where's Kate gonna be? Secret. All the Kefla Woods. So we go down this path now. Yeah, I should heal a little bit. I think if I duck in the bushes, nobody will be able to see me. I'm voting green things. Get out of here, I'm not telling you the goblin secrets. Curious, everyone, curious. Yeah, it's coming after me. Ow. Secret. Yelch. I think we've reached a finish line of sorts? No. I gotta make a bridge. Nice. Now to play the game of the old run around in circles and please don't attack me. Okay, buddy. It's gonna get a little annoying now. We'll drop these boxes off in peace.
How you doing? No, 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 no one knows past this man by an eye vow. The clones get too obsessive and ambitious to that long before now. Speaking rhymes weakened, by the way. So you didn't know that. Uh. It's a bomb, I don't see anyone around here. More cheese, but no bread. There's a fire burn witch paper. Shortcut. Use witch paper. <coughs> Green smoke. Who's there? I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes. Cheese. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I'm the one who was blinded. Touching at the sun? No, oh, which? Damn. Now I'm mad at me when I was. Okay. Got it. You look like... Brad without eyes from Lisa. A creature of two bellies. Let's say hello, my name is Pastor Neck. Oh, Pastor Nook. I'm sorry, but... Who are you then? Do you live here? And I hear you're, you're invisible? In your eyes? Oh my, you don't have eyes. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> Calm down, calm down, calm down, Pastor Pastus. You ask me a lot of questions like that, you look goofy. You have to take your life with a soup spoonful of sugar. In these dark times, you've been being slave to time. Everything is important. That's urgent. Run, run, I catch you. Enjoy the moment, old friend like me. Here under the tree with a cigar and a nice piece of cheese. The wild way they have to do and they pass the yum yum. If you say so, then say so. Who are you then? Ah, well, I think I'm an employee of the mega corporation called Centerpork. I'm not really sure, I lost my memory a few months ago when I went completely mad. Remember my mother or my name either? Your fellow government officials call me the Forest Goblin. But I'm not a forest and this place isn't real, Goblin. <laughs> and what are you doing here? And what do you do? You do magic with products. Magic? Yeah, with barcodes. What? I removed myself from the office, I took a to this lonely garden and began to perceive the magic that surrounds the manufactured objects of consumer lend society. And the oldest can proverb says only when you walk away from the lights of Big City can you see the stars at night. Equally different sizes, all secrets of products are revealed to me. The secrets of products? Yes, and the barcodes. I understand anything you say. Magnificent, and you desperate what you're saying, Mr. Paston Panaco. Me, but. You don't need barcodes, just Mr. Package of the product you don't need. I have an empty cereal box, does that work? Oh, alright, cereal boxes are super powerful. The most powerful breakfast, well above waffles or croissants. Let me look his barcode a little bit. Hmm, I see this quick response the magic of poisonous gas. I cut you see lying in the storm will allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me two witch papers as hostages. Ah, death has come. I also forgot to tell you I also sell blank witch papers. Oh, okay. I suppose you know them, don't you? I sell them for two. Oh, God. One slice of cheese. <laughs> barcode. I think I have a barcode. On this box of cigarettes, has a really big barcode. Stop smoking cigarettes, Pastor Naku. It's extremely bad for your hearing. No, no, I don't smoke. Did you smoke your cigarettes? Then what do you eat then? What? No! Let me sniff that barcode. Oh, I feel the power of my two friends, Nico and Tini. I was very contract. What's it for? If you buy it, I'll allow you to breathe underwater. But it's useful later. With free witch papers. Magic contracts. Can you explain the magic contracts to me again? 
So you can so get Parker's special suit, turn the magic contracts, you all that one up. Speeding alive, so some witch group is haunting it. Cemetery. Do you think about the cemetery back there? It's where the witch lives. What? Is that true? No. No? No use. Please just a poor and I pushed again. I heard a scream and I saw something or someone. Would you be the witch? I don't know. Well, make up your mind. Witch. Is it true what they say that you saw the witch? I don't want to talk about... Oops, sorry. I saw the witch eight times. They always happen the same way. First anxiety, you want to run away and you don't know why. Second, the lights go out and you feel the air thick around you. A weight on your shoulders. Third, the hiss that sticks like a pin in the ear. And a kiss. A kiss? Like someone's kissing your cheek. At first I tried to hide or run like the others. Then I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me. She was torturing me. She always made the comments when me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me crazier and crazier. I gouged up my eyes the last time she visited me. And I came to live here. I haven't seen her since then. And you never knew who she was? No, if I knew I wouldn't forget. I always fought that. I don't know. It could be anyone. So let's get this one for sure. And let's trade some cheese. Let's get this one. Now how many witch papers I got left? Three. Okay, I got toxic air zones and underwater zones. Cool. In the mirror, the silver snake looks like a two instead of an S. Two? Uh. Weird. Um, this seems like it's permanent. And it was a bad idea. I have some poison gas here too. Yeah, I can breathe it now. Cool. Nothing there. Nice, some bread. It's a weird area. They were in Lair from May 5th, 1961. I thought being a nanny would be more comfortable than working in the offices, especially if I'm taking care of a dumb girl. I'm going to have to give up for the sake of my mental health. There's another page. I understand the stress the family is going through that is bad time to leave my position, but that witch has not stopped crying in the last few days, and her crying gives me goosebumps. That witch. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out human resources. Maybe I can also go into the poison gas now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just calm on down. Ow! That one hurt. I got a little decent aim on that. Hmm. Maybe I am supposed to just walk for the gas.
in cartridge. Which paper? Well, this area is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> a house of cubicles. Hunter. I shouldn't get too close to the witch's cauldron. It seems to name an ancient resentment. I want to explore further. I will do some from here. Carry the dagger with me for protection, but I should start f storing things in the hidden floor. I'll leave the temple out of it. I don't want anything to happen to him. Sign RC. Oh, nice. Try noodles. Here we go. I got every one of those electronic pieces. Take a look at it. Sweet buddy, you're really dope. Got a little utensil around here, I'll find you groovy. There's a shotgun. You're gonna wig out. A lantern? Is that a flashlight? Oh, it's a lantern. The main difference between the normal flashlights is that these have a wider circular beam of light. If ever was a great for exploring hallways, these are cool for open spaces. Oh, that's great, thank you very much, Doshi. Hang on, there's a little problem. They don't run on batteries like other flashlights, but the difference is that they consume them twice as fast. So keep an eye on yourself and the number of batteries you're carrying. I got 15 of them. God. Face of the queen must have been poisoned by gas. Maybe I should have saved. Message. I've repeatedly brought strange smells to the company's attention. It's obvious that the clean team aren't doing their jobs, which is a surprise. They're all... That's our riffraff. Maze? Amazing. I got a pencil. No, I gotta go buy one. Like we're not done here. 